ya semida om shanti peace to you peace to me hello and welcome to this video this video i want to talk about the peaceful eaters club it's a pdf we release every month for those who want to accept it so you need to subscribe to it and we'll send it to you into your inbox for free every month we're doing it because of it's our passion and we want to be more compassionate towards animals so we're not trying to persuade you or convince you or even coerce you into becoming a vegan but just to look at the options that you have as vegan food so that you can diversify your food it's really important to eat many many different types of food that's why we have different colors and you look at food differently food is actually your medicine it has so many different qualities to each different food that you eat and when you add it all up into this big cacophony of food it is actually a whole source of medicine so if you eat the right diet you do not need external man-made pharmaceutical medicines so really important for you to start thinking about that moving especially in today's world where it's full of toxicity full of problems full of carcinogens we need to really start looking at our health and how to become more healthy i have been in this position if you are a meat eater i have been a meat eater sitting opposite a vegan and trying to convince me in a very very nasty way to become a vegan but it really did ring home because I can remember what he used to talk about. First question would be, how can you kill an animal compassionately for food? A healthy animal, I should say. How can you kill a healthy animal compassionately for food? You can't. So he suggested you, 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 you get them nice and fat, so you just slither off a little piece every now and again, and you place it on your plate, you can eat it, and then you bandage it up, let it grow back, and then do the same again. At least you're not killing the animal, make it feel very uncomfortable. Imagine someone doing that to you. You wouldn't like it. So, yeah, we could do it that way. No. Or you can shoot them very quickly. No, or cut the heads off. Or you know, How can you compassionately kill an animal? You can't do it. So these animals are really feeling the stress and anxiety and fear in the slaughterhouses and that's being chemically proven with what's being found in the meat it releases all these stress hormones into the meat and you're ingesting that you tell me do you feel that that is having an effect on your body so everything that you eat affects you so you tell me do this does this energetic process that you're taking into your body affect you well i would say yes but really it's down to you to have that experience when i became a vegetarian i did feel lighter i felt healthier my health turned around i lost a lot of weight i had more energy i had more zest for life and then becoming a vegan a few years ago not that long ago it happened after my wife and i jan took shim song we took shim song together and it's a body and brain workshop that helps you find your true self and what that did is made me realize made jan realize that we don't want to use animals for our own pleasure or taste we want to respect them like respecting all life forms on this planet do not hurt or harm anybody or anybody else's property anybody else's property is the world's property we're all on this planet together as environmentally friendly human beings we should be but we're not so we should be looking at our fellow species on the planet not as speciesists i.e looking at them as species that we can use but to work alongside and even work for in some cases to make the world a better place so that's why we did that it woke that spirit inside of us up to become vegans 
we were in the process of writing a recipe book which had oh cheese cheese tons of cheese recipes nearly all cheese recipes in it because we were really big advocates of eating cheese and now we realize with the casein in the cheese which is a carcinogen and also the heaviness of the cheese it causes acidosis in the body because of the fault uh, the way it is it's not very good for you and it, prior to popular belief it's not it doesn't help with the calcium levels in your body really greens leafy greens is really good for your calcium but it's even more complicated than that you need to have your magnesium levels and all the other levels in correct in your body there's not just one symptom for these issues that we have as human beings we actually need to eat a wide spectrum of food to keep the whole body healthy and that's the reason for the peaceful eaters club is actually to give you a bigger spread of foods that you might not have in your repertoire at the moment so that you can fill your cupboards up with dry food which is easy to store you can keep it up to about 10 years and start using it as and when you want to so that's one of the that's the reason really we became vegan and that's the reason why we set up the peaceful eaters club so why also would you want to become vegan well, firstly, it's like I touched on earlier, it's the, it's the animal cruelty or the ethical argument. Is this right? Is this right that we're doing this to the animals on the planet? Is this right that we're cutting down the rainforest just for our increasing meat consumption? You could, you could float a battleship in the amount of water it takes to produce one cow, one cow, a battleship. All this rainforest being destroyed and the resources that could be used for is all just for the production of meat. And we're running out of space with that because the ecosystems in the Amazon and these rainforests aren't going to put up with this for too much longer. Also, the amount of food produced for animals could be fed for humans. We could sustain over 10 billion people on the planet. The amount of food that we produce at the moment for animals we just need to turn that production around for the use of human beings but no for some reason we've been conditioned to eat meat for some reason well i've got my personal feelings on that and i'll probably share that in a different video but it's a lower vibration you're going to have that information in that food that actually goes into your body and now you've got glyphosate which is being sprayed on the food that's fed to the, the animals which is going into their body which is coming into our system which is a carcinogen proven carcinogen and you're ingesting that no getting away from it so really you've got to start thinking about this vehicle as always as your vehicle do you really want to leave it untidy unhealthy or do you want to actually start to clear it up, clean it up and be the best version of yourself you can be, best version of your body that you can have. Ethical argument, the animal cruelty argument, very big arguments, really for you to sort out for yourself really. You just think about it, just think about it. It's, it's, it's a challenge, but a big one, really hard to understand. Health become a vegan for your health when I became a vegetarian my health turned around I lost a lot of weight my acid doses came down the acid levels of my body came down and when when I went vegan even further still I came down into a very very healthy level of al alkaline acid about 7 7.2 I came down to sometimes 6.8 7 but it's it's right in the middle just below I was above, now I'm just a little bit below, Come, comes up and down as, as my weeks change, which is what the body does, it's self-regulating, self-healing, so that's that's good, I'm not worried about that at all, I'm not going to rush to a doctor and go, oh my god, my alkalinity dropped to about 6.8 the other day, and I'm dying, 
No, let your body self-regulate. You know when you need to do something, if you start to connect with yourself more. That's what you've got to start to do. You know when you overeat something, especially Christmas just passed. Oh, I didn't do that this year. I'm more interested in, in keeping a healthy body. Keeping, and keeping a healthy body will give you a healthy brain. Educate your brain through your body. Going green, going green, going green. I got nothing to affiliate myself with the Green Party or any other political party for that matter. I think they've all completely lost the plot and it's a system that doesn't serve us anymore. But the Green Party, I mean, I, I'm really very, very concerned about our environment, always have been. And that's one of the reasons I'm really against Wi-Fi, especially 5G coming in. There's been no tests on that to show that it's good for our health. There was a bio-initiative report in 2012, said 70% of the, the scientific proof showed that EMFs are detrimental to our health. So what are the Greens doing? They're not, not, not actually talking about that, they're actually talking about implementing 5G. Madness, madness. <laughs> but for your green footprint, if you want, not carbon dioxide, I'll talk about carbon dioxide another time, but your green footprint so that you're not using the resources to produce that meat onto your plate, you're becoming more green naturally by eating plant-based diet. There's more green, that's what they're there for, they're for us to eat and then we turn them back into fertilizers and soils and put that across the soils through compost bins and it's a natural cycle once you start to get into growing your own food it is a natural cycle that you suddenly realize ah oh, this is how this works everything actually recycles itself you shouldn't take and then just throw away it's a recycling process so we should all be doing that so becoming vegetarian or vegan you're taking on one of the bad boys you're taking on the meat industry full of propaganda, meat is love and all this kind of stuff I've watched on the TV when I used to watch it with the adverts, meat is love what, what is <laughs> if that's not propaganda I've never, never seen propaganda in its highest form meat is love, or it's good for you or it's, it's for your strong bones look at the, the amount of vegan athletes now that are, are appearing vegan strong men, are really built up big men it's rubbish that meat, you need meat for your protein, you need meat for your strength. It's absolute garbage. And you speak to the people who are really doing it, not the ones who are paid to diss it. You see, ah, there's a vegan. Look at him, he's full of vitality and life. You see uh, somebody who's not really a vegan, they look grey and old. It's not good. So, yeah, you take on the big boys, take on the meat industry. Say, no more. We're not doing that anymore and really just to feel lighter and healthier. Everybody needs to feel lighter. We should be able to move our hands. That's why we do Qigong. Qigong every day if you can. So your hands move like leaves of a tree, nice and light. Your legs are strong, like the, the stem of a tree and your feet are like roots into the, into the, into the earth. So you've got strong trunk legs, light top, and your energy starts to rise from your lower chakras up into your head and your brain starts to empower itself so that you can make these decisions without preconceptions, preconceptions without your conditioning of the systems that have conditioned you and make you feel like you need your meat for protein. Where did that come from? If that's not a conditioning, I don't know what is. So just thinking about these things and making them change my goodness humanity needs to change and we are at the cusp of enormous change but we all need to be part of it it's incumbent on all of us so that's why we set up the peaceful eaters club we don't want to take it seriously we don't want to preach at you we want to have some fun actually but <laughs> we want to have some fun in this very serious world so come and join us and sign up for the peaceful eaters club and we're going to have more and more uh, meetings and gatherings in the Kingston Borough so that you can come along and speak to other vegans 
to see that we're not all completely in, insane <laughs> and we are actually human beings as well so please do sign up the links at the bottom of this video and I'll see you in the next video. Sarang Hamidah.